my name is Jen from the Wadsworth Public Library, and I'm here again with a Summer Reading Club edition of CREATE. And today's edition of CREATE, we are focusing on Mexican folk art. So as you may know, our theme this year for Summer Reading Club is around the world, and we've been focusing on programming that um, highlights different countries around the world. So folk art, there's no, um, unanimous definition of what folk art actually is. But essentially folk art is art that is for the people, of the people, and by the people. It's basically an art form that celebrates a particular culture. Um, it isn't the like highbrow art um, that you traditionally think of when you think of like the um, famous painters. It's basically art that celebrates a culture that um, is not always made by famous artists. So some of the characteristics of folk art are that it can be decorative or it can be utilitarian, which means that it's art that is useful, maybe like um, bowls or spoons or something that is made that you can also use. Um, it can be used every day or reserved for um, celebratory events. Um, a large um, facet of folk art is that it's handmade so that um, is a um, element that includes all forms of folk art. Um, folk art may be self-taught. It's not necessarily um, a high form of art that you may think of. Um, it can also include forms of other expressive culture like dance or poetry or song. And most importantly, it is traditional and it reflects shared cultural aesthetics of whatever um, country or culture that you're focusing on. So today, the folk art that we will be making focuses on Mexico and a style of art called metal tooling. So for this edition of CREATE, you probably won't have all of the elements at home that you will need to create this project. So you can stop by the library or the drive up window and pick up a packet that contains um, some of the pieces that you will need to create this project. So the main um, element that you will need today for your folk art project is tooling foil. So this is a thing that you probably won't have around your house unless you're an artist. Um, it looks like regular foil, but it's a little bit heavier. I don't know if you can tell this on camera, um, but it's heavier weight um, and it's a little sharp. So I want to caution um, when you are working on this project to be careful of any edges because um, they can cut you. So if you wanted, you could um, cover the edges of the foil with tape so that you don't accidentally um, get a gnarly paper cut because this would not feel good, it's a, it's a little thick. Um, so you will need tooling foil and some sort of tooling tool, a little bit redundant. So this is a wooden, um, tool that you can use for metal tooling, but you don't have to have this specific thing. Um, you can also use um, the back of a plastic paintbrush. You can use the end of a pencil, um, the eraser end, or a blunt pencil. Um, you can use anything that's um, not super sharp. So you don't really want to use a toothpick um, because you don't want to poke through your foil. You just kind of want to make um, indentations in it. So anything that you have um, that will not poke through will be a good tool to use. And then you will need um, some beads, which I will include in your packet, and some sort of permanent markers or Sharpies, which I have here, and either um, jewelry wire or this is some silver thread that I used, and something really small to poke holes into your foil. Um, I just used a push pin. Um, and really that's it. So in your packet, you will receive some tooling foil, um, some wire and some beads. And then all you will need to have are some markers and um, some sort of tool and you're ready to go. So basically the first thing you want to do is think about a design that you want to make with your folk art. And I will show you one that I've created here. So this is meant to be hung, obviously. Um, and these um, foil panels, 
Um, you can do as many as you like, usually between three to five. Um, and then if you wanted, you could add beads to the bottom. So some of the images that I've used in this particular project are traditional Mexican images. When you think of Mexico, we've got a cactus. Um, we've got like a Mayan pyramid, a sunshine. Some of the other images you might think of, um, birds. Maybe you could do like a sombrero or maracas. Any traditional image that you think of when you think of Mexico. Or you can just do um, some abstract designs if you're not um, a great artist, which I definitely am not, and I was able to um, just create some simple images. So you want your images to be bold and simple. If you make them really intricate, they're going to be hard to trace onto your foil, so you definitely don't want to make them too detailed. Um, it helps if you think of a design and you practice it on a piece of paper before you start tooling on your foil because you can't really erase. So if you make a mistake um, that you're not able to easily cover up, you'll probably have to start over with a new piece um, because it's not easily erasable. Um, another thing when you are etching, you want to um, put either a magazine or a stack of paper underneath so that when you are doing your designs, you're not poking through. So you hopefully you can see on the document camera you can go over this a couple times. So basically you just want to make an indentation into your foil without poking through. So you'll have, want to have a soft surface underneath. Um, and then of course, if you would like, you can color the designs you've made and put them together in a final project. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can either color the designs that you have etched in, which is what I did with my project here. Or if you turn your project over, you can see there's like a three dimensional um, surface here of where you have pushed out with your design. This gives it an embossed feature. So if you've seen embossing, um, a lot of times it's like a stamp that will create like a three dimensional um, image. So you can just do the images in the embossed view and not color them in and just have them like this. Or you can flip it over and trace over them with marker um, to make it more colorful. Each way is perfectly fine and both of them are used in folk art. So either way you would like to do it. So like I said, you will just want to start with small panels of tooling foil. And tooling foil often comes in different metallic colors like silver, gold, or bronze. And so I have bronze and silver here. And um, I have cut these into four by four panels. Um, you can do four by four, five by five, six by six. I wouldn't go much larger than that because you want to hang it as a small piece. Um, but once you have your panels, like I said, you will take your, your tool um, a thing that you can use if you have them is um, wooden clay, clay modeling tools. But like I said, anything that's not super sharp, you can even use a regular pencil as long as it doesn't poke through. And just sort of press into your design like this. And go over it again. Some of the things I had made on my original design were... Um, images of Mexican culture, but just as an example, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Even though it's um, a thick foil and a little sharp, it's also very soft and it's um, easy to push into it. So like I said, if you wanted, you could take a marker or a Sharpie and go over the divots that you made to make it colorful. Let's see, do some red. Or if you wanted to have a different view, you could hang it this way and just have the three-dimensional embossed 
view. Other way is correct. So once you have your panels, like I said, three to five um, is pretty sufficient. You will attach them together. So there's a couple different ways you can do this as well. Um, I just poke some very small holes in the tops and bottoms of each of the panels and tied them with some very thin silver yarn, silver thread rather, um, and then you put them together. And then at the bottom, I did use a little bit of thicker yarn just so the beads would stay on. Um, I have seen examples where um, little jewelry rings were used to connect the pieces and that looks really cool and keeps with the um, metallic theme. Um, but again, that's probably not a thing that you have. Um, I felt that it was a lot easier to just attach them with string. And then when you have your bottom pieces all assembled, you can hang your final project. Or you can um, hang the panels separately. Um, they don't have to be in a um, single installation like this, but I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's lots of options for images that you could use. So it makes a pretty cool project. Um, the tooling foil, like I said, um, is very shiny, but it's, it's durable. So it's not likely to tear like a regular piece of foil. And you can make a very cool Mexican folk art design of your own. So like I said, if you would like to do this project at home, please feel free to stop by the library and pick up a packet with some supplies. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with on your own. All right, until next time, see you later.